seen a lot of Hollywood stars come and watch English football now. Obviously, there's quite a few different connections. The big one, obviously, being Wrexham. That was fun last year, wasn't it? Yeah. Was... For anybody that doesn't remember you and Wrexham, could you refresh us? Just going back, one of the first things I seen when I came out of the airport was a big Wrexham billboard yeah. in LA. And I was like, oh my God, is this is a wind up. <laughs> I can't get away. <laughs> um, no, listen, I think it's been blown well out of like proportion. Like It was an FA Cup tie at their calf and then back to ours. And I'm a winner and I wanted to win. And there were a few things said. And um, yeah. We won the game and ended up getting to the semi-finals of the FA Cup. It meant a lot to me. Um, and yeah, there were a few things said that um, upset a few people. But what happened after the game is we won and my family sit right next to the away away um, fans, which they sit there all the time. I don't know why they, they did, but I always go over, win, lose or draw, wave to my kids, clap our fans above where the away fans are. Wrexham fans are throwing things, blah, 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 which everyone knows I can take the stick and I give things back. It's part of football. It's what I love about football. Without the fans, it's nothing. And we saw that in COVID. And yeah. the fans are throwing things, abusing me, whatever. And um, But they thought I was coming over to, to obviously give them stick, but they don't know that no. the family were there. So I wave in, but also clapping our fans. And I, I, did, a, uh, I did this. Just to say, like, <laughs> unlucky. For, for unlucky. Our pod, for our yeah. I could have done something. I could, the eyes. yeah, I could have done something a lot worse. What it got me into trouble, but it was a little bit of friendly band. I did this. The manager of Parkinson, who, yeah, I know him, and I've had a few run-ins with him before. He well, tried. Yeah, he always seemed a bit. So I've took a throw him to once Parkinson, for yeah. for Leeds United against Bradford, and I, I picked the ball. Up, and as as I'm going to pick the ball, he volleyed the ball, but hit my hand. So I pushed him and. Some reason I got booked and he didn't that, that time. So that was the first little one, which no one knows about. History. Yeah, history. Then we had a little battle against Bolton, Sheffield United to get out of League One, and we did them. They, you know, we we were the champions out of there, and they got promoted, which great. But just had these little rivalries and battles. I've got no, nothing against him. Just we just don't seem to get on. Um, <laughs> he doesn't like me. I'm not that bothered about him. And uh, yeah, a few of his. That game, when I've done that, he saw me do that. He's clapping his fans. Yeah, fair, he can do that. He came over and he started grabbing me and I was like, what are you doing? My parents, my family, my kids are all there. I'm having a bit of banter with your fans. Then a few of their players came over. It boiled over. Um, my emotions were high. Their emotions were high. We turned left to home dressing room. They go straight on and then left to the away dressing room at Bram Lane. Loads of cameras, which I was going straight on because... I scored the winner and I think I got man of the match. Did an interview, which I have shouldn't have probably done. I should have gone to change room, calm down, then did it. Um, they were pushing me out of the way and I'm going, I'm going to do the interview. Yeah, usually I'd be going left. So then I had to, basically, this cameraman was then trying to pan around with their players cause for the documentary. And he got in my way a little bit. I pushed him. So then it boiled over a little bit more. Then a few of our lads started getting involved. It's just handbags, football Imagine handbags. It. Yeah, it was, yeah, it was great. It's great. It's great. And, it's great. And they I got the face on. We, yeah, all right. And they saying we should beat and we're the higher team, blah, blah, blah. Doesn't always work like that. We saw that in the FA Cup. They got a replay. They were obviously still doing really well now. Um, but yeah, their fans got a lot against me. But I don't know. It was good TV. I, I, I've heard. I've not watched it. Um, and that I was did. in the documentary, was it? Yeah, and I said, stick that in your documentary. Stick that in your documentary's <laughs> arse. <laughs> and guess you get what? get paid for it. Oh, guess what? I didn't get paid for it. They <laughs> put it not? in the documentary and, you know. It was know, a highlight. Uh, <laughs> you should have wrote to them and said you didn't have permission to put me in. Yeah, no, no, to be honest, it says when you come into Bramall Lane, there is filming today, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. So I think they're fine. Um, I'll have to check. Right. What if Ryan Reynolds phones you up? So he, he said, um, apparently he said, um, Something about me, I, don't know, I can't repeat what he said, but um, yeah, I'm like, we're not even got under his skin as well. And I'm like, they was the ones who were saying, rent free in your head. And I'm like, no, not at all. It was an FA Cup tie, high emotions. And we luckily came out on top that day and I was the lucky one to score the winner. But nothing against Wrexham or the supporters. But in football terms, Wrexham, it's a great... 
It's a great show about how you can turn a football club around by, with two two film stars in it and, and put well, the mind well, 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 to it. Well, so. must, but it's the money they're generating for the club, you know, out of their fame yeah. and out of their social media uh, activity and about, you know, building up the followers to that. And Wrexham's full every week, sticking tickets are sold, sold out, out but, every week. But yeah. the main revenue is coming through the through the social media because of how many followers are there. Like, I mean, it's just brilliant and the club can benefit from that. Mm. I think they've just bought the stadium back. Yeah, and they're redeveloping it. I yeah. was there for this. Wrexham played Salford. Salford were 2-1 up with five minutes to go and Wrexham won 3-2 because there was an air in the atmosphere. There was an air in the stadium. We're going to win. We're going to score. Um, so, Phil Park, you and Phil Parkinson don't get on. You, you, the Wrexham fans and you don't yeah, get on. He did ring me. Oh, okay. Yeah. Right. What did he say? No. No, no. Oh. I'm only joking. Right, okay. <laughs> okay. I was like, whoa, scoop. Okay. Wrexham are doing really well. Fair play yeah. to him. And yeah. But if they right, if he phones you I'll and see says, what he's, see what come says. down. And I don't hold grudges. I'm, would you so you'd play for Wrexham? If, if that was one of my better options, then yeah, why not? Okay, I wasn't expecting that. <laughs> okay. Oh, it's cool. it's cool.